Hey yo, this is another video, so let's go. All right, uh, as you, um, I made a video um, um, a few days ago, man. Like I had figured something out, um, um, and I, I put together um, the meaning of Scissors uh, videos um, hit different. Uh, in good days so uh, I've already read this book uh, in its entirety but like it's, it's very um, it's very uh, important and, or impertinent you know what I'm saying when I had read it so uh, when I, was, I learned a lot out this book and uh, it's, it's a very good book it's called um, The Ninth Arch so <laughs> so stick with me please you you gonna use this is gonna be a good one so the ninth arch is dealing with um, um, the woman or the goddess, the dark goddess. There's a book by Peter Redgrove called The Black Goddess and the Unseen Real. So um, I read that book a few years ago. But there's this book, um, like I said before, The Ninth Arch um, by Kenneth Grant as a student of Aleister Crawley. So I'm going to give you a great... Um, a, a good uh, synopsis of what I ended up uh, putting together, and why it uh, why it sticks out and uh, it makes total sense. Okay, so now let me show you where I'm at. You're gonna be like, oh, okay, that's a real arch. Yeah, this is the biggest arch I ever seen in life. So, you know, in uh, 156, that's perfect. Babylon, B A B A L O N. I broke that down in that video about scissors. So now check this out. Yeah, um, this is where I'm at. I'm in St. Louis. And what you know about that, I'm in St. Louis. So, I was dealing with Ishtar. And I was telling you about that, that, um, that, um, the, the last video I made about SZA. So, let's go, let's dig into it. You po you're supposed to go, and, well, I'm in the arch, or the vesica, or the vagina. And you see the, um, the, the star of Babylon, B-A-B-A-L-O-N, Babylon from Babylon which would be what um it would it would be uh Iraq and Iraq uh, back in, in the days was called Persia so Persia is where you can find the Necronomicon um that's a type of mythology is what I had uh was talking about in that last video so when you when you're inside of a book and you're trying to find certain subjects what you want to do is go inside um, your index okay and when you go into the index you find Ishtar so I remember this in my and when I read this from before so when I read this I was like hey it's gonna more likely gonna be inside the index so let's start from the beginning all right 195 okay let's go so as you see the name Ishtar is right here the name Ishtar okay so what I'm going to do is um, go through it and give you a, a background of what I mean okay the, the verses 2, 3, and 4 are um, quotations from the wisdom let me read the, the verses for you so you see the 2 and the 3 this is the um, the verses right here and you have the, um, the oracle which is 291 the oracle 292 from the destruction of mind good day in my mind okay that gives birth to chaos chaos is melanin verse 3 a zone of mauve is created a desert of sand above the des uh, the tunnels of set the winds hurry through them so that's verse 3 verse 4 
a sinister piping bearing the beetle on its wings. Okay, so the deserts of sand. I had the opportunity of visiting the deserts of sand um, out in um, Oklahoma. I'm not gonna say which where. I recorded this video about close to like six, seven months ago. So I understand where it's at. These, these places, our ancestors uh, made people set these places up in the US. So these are very spiritual places and I've been there. So you got, you, you look, if you look through my catalog of videos, you'll understand where it's at if you pay attention. Okay, uh, verses two, three, and four are quotations from the wisdom of Silva. which describe aspects of the mauve zone, a desert of sand above the tunnels of set. This we may understand the light of the light of the book of Akbish. Book Akbish. Akbish is a spider. Yabish, remember uh, Kendrick Lamar, Yabish, money trees. The tree is, um, Oh yeah, the tree of life, as you can see, uh, you know, the spider right here, spider. <laughs> so the tree of uh, Agbish means spider. Uh, Agbish is the tree of life or um, the Kabbalah. There's two sides, uh, the, the day side and the, and the dark side, or the night side. And it'll make, it'll make a lot of sense very soon. So, so as you see, the spider's web, um, spider web, uh, Hebrew, her web, Okay, let's keep going. So, um, book Akbish as in, in indicative of it's the sun is in my eyes. I want to make sure I can really see it. Indicative of Festat, the heart of Ma's Ion manifestation. Ma Ion Ni Festat Ni is the hidden God, as observed through Ni. Ni is a name of the hidden god Amen, Amen Ra, or the hidden god, the, the hidden god inside you, Lord of Amenta, which is what the hell, or this is where we're at, hell. Observable also through the facts of the sixty stone, whose angle planes. If, uh, the sixty stone is what manifestation. Is is a certain stone in this book? I gotta go go and get it. Okay, but uh, you'll see it sometime soon. Um, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Uh, uh, it's observable through the facets of the 60 stone whose angle planes open inward, revealing the strange perspectives of the mob zone. Their gateways give access to give access to 60 modes of perichoresis via the interface doth. Doth is what? Right behind your back of your neck and the, the lower neck. That's where if you watch Hellraiser 2. They reach inside the neck and pull their life force out. I mean, that's where your, your highest form of melanin is located. And the Virgin Ma. Note also her formula, Alchemia. Alchemia contains the hidden God as phallus between the two letters of her name. The word Mav equals 58, which combines the, the zone 132 to yield, to yield the sum of the initial scion, said Isis, Osiris, Nephthys. They're all considered brother and sister, but this is not like real life. This is uh, mythology. So they're Set and Nephthys are together and Isis and Osiris together. But Set, and later on in his book, you'll find out Set and Isis is together if he kills his brother. But the penis of Osiris is actually Set's, Set. So Set is actually Horus' father. And he ended up fighting his father, but he ended up gaining his power. But let's keep going. Tis even equals 156. It's Babylon, like I spoke of earlier. Babylon, this the Scarlet Woman. Remember in a, in a video, the music video, she was wearing, uh, she had blood on her uh, in a total body, uh, and the video um, hit different. So Scarlet is the color red, which also you watch the movie um, The Ninth Gate. And today also, that's why I do. I'm doing, doing a ritual. The ninth, um, this is September the ninth, uh, 2021. So, and this gate is what the arch, 
And the name of this book is called what? The Ninth Arch on September the 9th. All right. And 1010 just passed. <laughs> so let's keep going. 1010 is dealing with the Necronomicon too also. Um, let's keep going. Scarlet Woman, the, the, the formula of science should be studied in connection with <clears throat> it just started laying down and got comfortable so the formula all right the formula of science should be studied with studied in connection with david wood's observation in genesis it's a book called genesis by david wood so you can go check it out yourself too i've never read it but hey you can pass on some information that author refers to the number 58 as the unexplained number of the priori of Sion. It was discovered inscribed upon a skull. Skull. <laughs> the, the discovered upon a skull. <laughs> and recalls the sacred head revered by the Templars. The significance of the numbers connection with moth 58 is glossed by his couch equals 58 the kala kala is the different moon phases moon phases deals with blood the blood dealing with what when a woman is on her cycle or on her period okay and they always tell us in america or the men young youngins were like oh don't don't mess with the woman while she's on her period no that's the perfect time the greatest time because you're going to be able to manifest things her uh, you and her together and um you can speak on it with your wife or your girlfriend or your the woman that you want to be with that if you want if she wants to do it there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing you can like it's like an old myth and it's, it's a wrong myth so don't don't be afraid uh of that because that's actually bringing both of you both of you to power together okay and it's not like you're taking the power from her as long as you're able to um, hold on to your energy as in not releasing or uh, letting 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 go or, as we say, coming. So as we all grown, so this is not for kids. This video, I made sure this video is not for kids. So, so anyway, let's keep going. The color of perfection or the perfect eye on end by Kelch, the bride or virgin. Uh, come to find out when I was doing some studies and learning from Bob, Brother Bobby Hemmett uh, as a teacher, um, the woman was called the virgin that actually had sex in the, long, in the, in the past, in the, in, the, in the ancient times, in the old times. Now they call the woman a virgin when she doesn't have sex. It, everything is backwards these days. So you have to be use, use your, your own mind. And as they say, for women always have this, this is intuition. Don't go with everything that everybody gives you. You have to study for yourself too also. Alchemia, five plus eight is 13. 12 months, 12 zodiacs, 12 disciples. Um, you got King Arthur in the round table and you got the dot in the middle, the circle and the dot. That means your dot is the mind or had it. Um, you'll find in the book of the law. And I just so happened to have that book on me and I, I didn't think I was going to be uh, going this in depth with the book so this other book so the book of the law by Alistair Crawley so and I'm going to find that page and I go into this every so often and uh, so you're going to see what the scarlet woman right here okay uh, let me see if I can find look the secret adores of had it had it is the black dot, the dot in the circle. So the circle on the zodiac, and then you'll see the dot as in um, the dot as the mind. But the circle, you have to be all the zodiacs uh, 12 months out of the year instead of the zodiac that you came in as. Okay, let's keep going. We have 14 minutes. We got a little bit more to cover, so I don't want to waste a lot of time. Resumes. Um, the lunar current also in Ga equals 58. Uh, no Ga, the Venus. Venus is the woman and Venus is is the woman so you have you know Venus Williams is you know so all right so let's keep going I don't want to lose you so I just want to keep you um, close to me so you understand where I'm coming from and where I'm at with it no God the uh, let me get this focused no God the Venus of the Kabbalist so like I said the Kabbalah 
you know, you can, so Madonna, she deals with the Kabbalah. So, so it, that's not their information, it's actually highly melanated people's information. We're the, the actual Hebrews, and they're just, um, they're the people from, they're the Ashkenazim Jews. They're actually fighting over the Gaza Strip over in um, what they call the Middle East. The Gaza Strip is, doesn't belong to any of those people, but they're fighting over something that doesn't belong. It's just a land, land state, because it's something that we had years ago. But over time, things will start to make sense. I'll just say that. Okay. Naga, the Venus of the Kabbalists, equates with Ishtar, Isis, and the formula of the Scarlet Woman. Furthermore, 58 equals Chenin, Notarikon, Notarikon of Chokma, Nesetara, the secret of forbidden wisdom, which aptly describes the wisdom of Silba. That's another book. Uh, taken together with Zone 132, we have BLQ to, to lay waste, to lay waste i.e. a desert um, desolation abomination through desolation cabal to receive thus Kabbalah to re the, the receive wisdom el Kab to curse and Mamu God of chaos the number 132 in cosmology of Silba equates with Gigen Zinga where 93 which is Awas unites with its reflex 39, Santania, 132 equals Bion, the basic unit of living matter. Regarding the latter, Dr. Wilhelm Reich describes Bions as blue patches between the stars. So like they say, the beat, um, the space between the beat is also just as, just as important as the drum and the snare and the kick, uh, the kick drum, the kick snare, um, hi-hat all in between whatever you use it's all important too also so they say every man and every woman is a star patches that twinkle and give off light the, bet the between this phenomenon is analogous to the symbolic movement of consciousness in the mob zone the mob zone is outside uh, outside of time so Think about it like this, when you're having sex, when you're having sex and you're doing it for hours, time really flies if you're really into it and you're not, oh, how long am I going? And you're gonna start thinking about physical things around you. You're actually creating, um, you're creating manifestations. So out, I said outside the, the, I don't know, what the, oh, it's a baseball game going on. <laughs> Car was probably playing. I've seen people walking. So, so um, outside the um, let's see, outside time, um, time doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in the first place. Cause remember, the third day they said, "Let there be light." That means there was no light. So how do you measure time? By with the sundial. The sundial measures time for you, which beget begets a watch, and so forth. So. God doesn't exist. So if God doesn't exist, he was a later creating creation. He came from the darkness. So the darkness, how can you tell time in the dark? All right, something to think about. So let me go to the next the next one. It's more to read, but I'm, I'm going to keep going. So I already got to my point on uh, dealing with um, Ishtar. I didn't even notice it, but the time I just paused everything at was 1911. And 9-11 is very important. Um, so I'm gonna it's gonna get to that very soon. So th page 319. Okay, in the times of Therion. And th if the Oracle of 51929, uh, that's this one right here. Um, 51929 and unlock the light it locked within the dome of her skull. Has any connection with the times? Uh, get some focus. The times of Therion. We can we can but suppose that an avatar of the beast antedated the one represented by Alistair Crawley. 
um, the B666, six, 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 six protons, six neutrons, six electrons, which is carbon, which is melanin. The present oracle identifies the serpent of 51929 as Shepipin. The Chorastes or horned serpent, sacred to Isis, Isis and Ishtar, um, or in two different areas of the world where they have the same connection of in mythology. They just, they just different names or different areas of the world. So that's how you gotta look at it. It it also denotes the number Limkoth to the queen, the moon, i.e. the the dark side of Isis. Remember I told you about the Kabbalah, the, the light and the dark side? Okay. Again, 520 resumes a front formula of Mut or Ma'at. Ma'at, you see on, if you look up the, the Staley of Revealing, um, Alistair Crawley put that out like in 1904. He found that with his, his wife Rose in Cairo. Uh, Ma'at, she stands over uh, Unkoff Nakansu in Awas. Awas is in where? Persia. Unkoff Nakansu is in Kemet or Egypt. The same, damn it, the same people, but just in different places. As Ipsos, and of Ishtar, the daughter of Sin, the lunar current in the Romer mythos, Roman mythos. Um, Mrs. Sin reflected the black Isis to whom was to be sacrificed, sacrificed the white virgin. Black Isis to whom was to be sacrificed the white virgin. 520 equals Sezet. Now that sounds <laughs> a lot like SZA. So the goddess Seshat, whose mysteries have been discussed beyond the mob zone in connection with the star Vela. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, so I'm still in the same book, The Ninth Arch by Kenneth Grant. Okay, I didn't change books on you. <laughs> 648, 13. Okay, the oracle is 648, the verse number is 13. But only if you will unite the gold and the mauve. Okay, and in alchemy is which is the study of melanin. So alchemy, you want to get gold, mix in different metals in order to get a substance called gold. Gold as in mauve, the mauve zone, mauve zone is in dealing with sex outside the times of uh, outside um Outside time, um, you will find when, while you're having sex, while she's um, the collars, they'll change red, like different colors of purple. Um, the blood will change different colors. So these are like different times or moments of the um, of the moon changing with their cycle too. Also, so let's keep going. The quote, the quotation of Silva 162.8. It's in a whole other book. Seems in the present context to suggest that the fulfillment of 64712, whatever the meaning of the sigil, depends upon uniting the solar phallic, solar phallic current. Phallic is phallus. Phallus is or is the penis. Okay, current gold with the mauve zone. But how is this to be achieved when the second term of the proposition lies outside known dimensions like I just told you a clue may lie in an enumeration of the word mauve 58 58 equals chenin chana a not aquarian of chokma neser thara the secret wisdom also I'm going to let you know this also this is in Hebrew a lot of the stuff when it's broken up like that these are uh, letters these are complete letters like this in Hebrew. So they're like, oh, he's telling too much. No, I'm telling just enough because our people need to know this. A highly melanated people, you see, I'm a highly melanated person. So, you know, don't get it twisted. So, you know, but yeah, so we need to know this. We are the, the original Hebrew. Those people that wear black, they wear black for a reason because they're copying with who they worship. Highly melanated so-called black people. Okay, let's keep it going. That's why they fighting over the Gaza Strip. They don't belong to them, but they fighting over something physical. But everything is spiritual. Okay. Chenna, a note aquarian of Chokma, Nestara, a um, the secret wisdom, which seems to point at the wisdom of silver. Furthermore, 58 equals culture. 
perfection and suggests the perfect ion of Freighter Atchet. Freighter Atchet, uh, you know, he'll, he'll be in the, uh, the occult realm or that means that which is hidden. Okay. Uh, Atchet means the one. Uh, Atchet. Again, 58 equals Inga. A name of Venus derived from the Kamite Unk, the Egyptian goddess, and a sigil of the feminine source of life. So you'll see the Unk right here. 58 also equals Kelch, Kala, a title of Ishtar, the virgin or bride, or bride, uh, beautiful. It means beautiful too. Also, perhaps, but perhaps a more appropriate interpretation is given by David Wood in in his Genesis 15, uh, page 218. Here, Wood gives the basic numbers of the four great gods: seven, eight, fifteen, and twenty-eight. Seven is Set, eight is Isis, fifteen is the the triple goddess because you have five body parts: the head, arm, arm, leg, leg. Which is like the same thing as Allah, arm, leg, leg, arm, head. All these, um, the religions. You got don't look at the religion. Look at the um, the mythology of the religion. Then everything more uh, makes sense. Cause the books, the the Kabbalah or um, you call it um, the Quran, um, the Bible, um, whatever you're looking at. Those are the religious books, but look into the mythology of those like those books. They're, they're mythology in the, in the first place. But don't look at them as as in they really happen. Look at them as these are stories about yourselves. Okay, so let's get back to what I was reading about. So I was back at the note 15 right here, where he notes that 58 is the sum of the numbers attributed to the god names Set, Isis, Osiris, Nephthys, the initial letters of Letters of let me see, do, 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 which I uh, mean, which yield scion set S I O N 58. He calls the unexplained number of the priori of scion. He considers scion to be the secret council at the heart of the Ordo Templi Orientis. O the OTO, you'll find um, uh, Alice of Cawley. In in uh, in the OTO creating the OTO, but come to find out, um, Pascal Beverly Randolph Ashe uh, started or was around the OTO. He either committed suicide or he was killed, and a lot of his information was taken from him, and it came out. So things have to happen that way, and I, I have a, a a slight connection with you know with pascal beverly randall i want to say what it is but let's keep going mr wood notes further that this number appears in excavations at the site excavations when people dig in people's tombs or dig um around certain places uh excavations at the site of rene le chateau that's uh french on a skull revered by the templars 16. Baphomet was the name of, of a head adored by the Templars. Crowley assumed this, this name as head of the OTO. So the Templars uh, was actually started by the Moors. So, but as, as time goes on, it's left in, in Europe. If it's left in Europe, the people that's left behind it kick, uh, they're taking the Moors out of those areas. And the Moors ended up becoming buccaneers or pirates. Hence the reason why Tom Brady became a buccaneer to take the uh, to take energy. But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> note note further that five plus eight is thirteen. Remember I said before, twelve and one had it. The point in the circle, the circle is twelve. Atchet to unite, uniting. Comment uh, to the next verse. And also four seventy nine funny Aaliyah was born in 1979 and Prodigy of Mob Deep was born in 19, uh, 1974 alright so the oracles number um, for this is what 911 so now, now this is where we, we get into it so we got two more days on a Saturday today is Thursday 
Friday is a 10. Saturday will be 9-11. So this is 20 years ago, the 20 year anniversary since that, uh, that happened. So 20 years ago, Sizzle would be 10 years old at that time. And she was in school and I, I come to find out, and she was talking about this in the interview, that they had took her, uh, her head covering off her head in school. And because, you know, a lot of people, when you don't know anything, whatever the news gives you, you become um, a sheep and you just don't understand. But I don't even realize that that, that wasn't even done by those people. Like was oh, Osama bin Laden or whatever. He used to work for the government um, years ago. Him and the George, the Bush family, they was all in cahoots or worked together. It was due to oil. But uh, not like he worked with them with oil, but it wasn't like what they say it was. So, but they had to have a reason to go over into um, Iraq, uh, Afghanistan, and all these places to get um, uh, mythological and uh, religious relics from out of certain places. And what is Ishtar? She is, Ishtar is a female deity. So now, remember I told you in that last video that she she is um, the Scarlet Woman. And I showed you early in this video, that's the Scarlet Woman, Ishtar. The transmission is nearing at its end. A veil will soon descend. The verse number is Ha'i, a monster serpent. A form of Apep is what? It's a dragon. Okay, a dragon gets his wings. So, let's keep going. The zoo type of the Ophidian, Ophidian current, or ty Typhonian, or the Titans in Greek or in Greece. The near coincidence of these twin serpents is notable. See the comment to the previous verse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, Sydney C. May alone in of alone of artists knew how to suggest the terrors of Lord Dunsany's visions. You should also look up that name, Lord Dunsany's. Uh, yet he even hesitated to depict the abyss. The abyss is where everything comes from. Remember, I was saying the abyss, the abyss is the darkness. So if this is the darkness, that means everything, you remember said, let there be light. God had to get his, his source of power from somewhere, which is the abyss. Or in Nordic mythology, that would be the waters, the great waters. Okay, so let's keep going. That preceded the beginning. Rish, Risha Ista, 910, the beginning. So that's what the, the abyss is, is the beginning. Everybody comes from out of their mother's womb. So when you're in your mother's womb, what, you, what are you in? You're in darkness until you come out after nine months. The ninth gate, the ninth arch, the arch, the ninth arch. So the gate itself is the, the gate you come out of your mother until you have to come into the light and you have to deal with everything yourself. You have to deal with things yourself and you have to learn how to survive out here until, until something else changes. So the beginning of time right here it says the beginning let me get my finger out there so you can see it outside the, the shade the beginning of time the oracle rerek the serpent the serpent that lives upon the coups or spirits the coup is what pyramid up uh, the coup is the pyramid the pyramid is your head the mind i got the pyramid is the mind the mind uh as i said is had it had it is the dot in the circle Okay, so that's the pyramid and the snake. The pyramid and the sword. Remember King Arthur pulled the sword out of the stone? The stone is what? The pineal gland, um, which is the pineal gland, which will be what? The stone, the philosopher's stone. Okay, let's keep going. We'll go back to where we were. And they said go into the, um, the comment section. Got bugs on, on everything, so we outside. <laughs> okay. See comment section. See comments to previous verse. Both are glyphed in the sigil of Aosik, the oracle warns of bar sha cha ta bar sh bar sha cha ta the hell of Tiferet, Tiferet, which comports the blasting and burning power of the sun. Now pay attention to this. This is where it gets a little tricky. If you're not, if you're not paying attention, then it won't make sense to you. Now watch this. 
9-11 or 9-1-1. They, they, they do this on purpose. These are rituals they're running. I do rituals too. Everybody do a ritual. You brush your teeth. You wash your face. You take a shower. You take your kids to school. When you take them to school, hey, I got to get my coffee before I go to, go to work and get my day running, right? Okay, let's keep going. 9-1-1 equals Ishtar. So, now think about it. Now, if she if she lived here in in um, in St. Louis, then was... Uh, was taken to where? New Jersey. Uh, uh, what did Rosenberg say? Oh, you're, you're still a Rose. You you're still a um, a Jersey girl, aren't you? And uh, you know they. Ha uh, I'm gonna anyway. In time, it'll make sense. You were you're still a Jersey girl when she was living in um, in California at the time. He said, Yeah, but like that. Remember, your body is your home. Wherever your body is, doesn't make it your home. You're just living there to learn something. When you're there to learn something, you actually. Um, your mind is your home. Your mind is where you live at. You control this body. The body isn't the temple. Your mind is the temple. Why they say the side of your head is your temple? Because that's where you are. That's where you. That's where you. That's where you are. That's where you live at. Your temple. So think about it like this: Ishtar, the daughter of sin, which is what sin is. What in the Necronomicon or in that mythology? That's the moon deity. He's a he's a male moon deity or a Zen. The manifestation of the lunar current expressed here through the witcheries of Lola 7. See, Romer, he had a book, or it was an author named Romer, had a book named Dope. Lola is the consort, consort of Sin Sinwa, which was is another, it's the Asian version of Sin or the moon, the moon, the male moon deity. It's the male moon deity. The manifestation of the lunar current. Lunar is what? The moon is at night time, right? So they say the burning power of the sun. Now pay attention. The lunar current expressed here through the witcheries of Lola. Layla is, um, and you'll find Layla is before Allah. Layla, uh, you got Layla Ali from Muhammad Ali, which is um, his daughter. Layla is night. Night. Layla is night. So the sun uh, at night is what? The star Sirius, I said in that last video, the star Sirius is what? With melanated people or melanated people or so-called black people, we are from the star Sirius. And what? And, um, and Ishtar reigns at nighttime. Okay. And, and like, good day in my mind, if you're in your mind, you're going to sleep. And mainly everybody goes to sleep where? And at what time? At nighttime. So while sleeping, or uh, you saw, uh, or while sleeping in that video, um, what do you, um, good days. She was laid out, laid out on the floor, um, had her eyes closed, eyes closed sleeping. Um, and she was into her higher self. Her higher self had what? Reddish orange hair, which would be what? Scarlet. This color scarlet would be red, the color red. But that's who what? Ishtar. Blasting, burning power of the sun. If you ever watch the movie, um, the ninth gate, the ninth gate, the ninth arch was done by, um, Roman Polanski, which also made the movie, uh, Rosemary's Baby. So he had to flee over to, to France, uh, in order for the police or the people over here not to uh, take him in behind something him de dealing with a, a younger girl because uh, he was messing with a younger girl he had to flee over to France or whatever but in him making that that actually helps us out as melanated people because our ancestors make certain people come out with movies certain books uh, certain cartoons uh, move, uh, videos um, as in movies of course um, what else um, video games, anything you could, any type of th entertainment. Don't look at it as entertainment. Think of it as a way you can uh, learn something. If you're learning something, that's a, that's a way we're supposed to be doing. We're only supposed to be learning something while we're on this third dimensional plane. And so, as I tell you this, I'm saying this as as in full assurance of myself and of whatever everything i've learned as you can see i've read through this book all the highlighting i've done uh they learned read finished reading this book close to about a eight months to a year ago and so again now let's get to this part 
like a um, like a vast beetle emerging from a, the vulva of Isis. Isis is also looked at as, as Ishtar in two different areas of the world. So it is also home of the beetle headed uh, many strands of new Isis. So it is also the number of Shicharar, hairiness, a cleft, a gate, the vulva of the goddess. The gate is what? The vagina. Hairiness, a cleft, a gate. This is a gate. They say it's the gate to the west. The gate to the west. And I am, where am I facing? In order for you to, in order for you to go through the west and go through the gate, you have to go where? Through the gate. In order for you to go to the west, and where is and TDE is function function out of where, out of the west coast. But um, that's it. 41, 4108. 4, 418 is the great is the great work or melanin. Four plus eight is twelve. Twelve plus one is what? Thirteen. And that's perfect timing. Uh, that's it for me. I'm gonna end this video. Uh, kill the day. Chaos. Chaos is conjoined with let me get this up orange look if you ever get the chance look at this movie called a clockwork orange um forget the director's name right now at this very moment in time it's a very great movie i got the movie myself um oh man i can't think of the guy's name he did a movie called um Space Odyssey 2001. I know, I know his name. Uh, Kubrick. Kubrick. If you check, if you check out the movie cool, uh, about Kubrick. Um, Stanley Kubrick. That's his name. 666. Okay. The Star of Babylon brings on Chaos. Okay. K A O S. I spelled it that way. I only got four and five fingers. I want to make it so you can I can see it myself. But it's C H A O S. Chaos. So chaos, uh, red plus yellow, red and yellow is what? Orange, purple and green is what? Brown, those are the, the, the sands of, of the deserts of Set. And that's connected with, with what? Egypt or Kemet, all right? That's how I'm gonna end the video. 42, 42 is my art, two numbers conjoined on each side. All right, kill a day, kill God. And also keep learning while you're on this third dimensional plane. They can't stop you from learning. This is the age of Aquarius. And that means everything will be revealed. The water is being poured. That means water is information. Jesus walked on water, right? Your body is made out of water, just like of earth. 70% water, 30% uh, land. All right, peace. No, no more peace. We're killing the day through our, our, our mind. Our mind is chaos. So if our melanin is chaos, that means we keep going and still keep learning, all right? Chaos.